Late Friday, Chadwick Boseman's tragic death rocked the world, not just because nobody knew he'd been battling colon cancer for four years, but because he was a king in the MCU and a prince in Hollywood, who someday could have become a king if his life and career hadn't been cut so tragically short. Uh, and because he was dealing with this most of the time, he was a high-profile high actor. This occurred to me while I was making my notes and reading so many wonderful tributes and articles about Chadwick Boseman. The cancer not only robbed us of Chadwick Boseman himself, but of getting to know him as a person because he was dealing with this and you know became so private as a result. What we did get to see, though, because he was such a beautiful person, it shined through. Was it still shined through? Was incredible. I'm going to make a video about both aspects of his life, the king of the MCU and this one, the Prince of Hollywood. The MCU video will focus on what I feel should be done to preserve his legacy and will go up later today. Please note, as I'm sure you have, that both videos are demonetized, but are also fundraisers for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Uh, I selected St. Jude because upon the news of his death, uh, some beautiful moving pictures were circulated online of Bozeman visiting St. Jude to cheer up sick children battling cancer as he himself privately battled cancer. Uh, all you have to do is click the button down below to donate and YouTube will send that money directly to St. Jude, 100% of it. And I'm sure that St. Jude would appreciate any money that you can give in Chadwick Bozeman's honor. So yes, I called Chadwick Boseman a Prince of Hollywood. And when you look back at his career, as we're about to do, you can see that it was something truly special. He attended Howard University. That is one of the oldest and most respected HBCUs, historically black college and universities in the United States. In fact, as she recently shared upon his death, she shared publicly, Angela Bassett received her honorary degree from Howard U University, and it was Chadwick Boseman who was selected to escort her that day. She, of course, went on to play his mother in Black Panther. And when he and several of his classmates were accepted into the British American Drama Academy summer program in London, his teacher Felicia Rashad enlisted Denzel Washington to help cover their tuition and expenses. Something that Bozeman publicly thanked him for uh, at Washington's AFI Life Achievement Award Ceremony just last year. That speech also making the rounds all weekend long. Like his 42 co-star Harrison Ford, Bozeman was out auditioning for a decade. Ford auditioned for about a decade before he landed Han Solo. Uh, Bozeman also landed small roles until he hit a home run with 42 playing the iconic Jackie Robinson, which is the role where I first saw him. I'd be curious to know where you first discovered Chadwick Boseman. Share your, share your memories of him down below. Bozeman would go on to play two other iconic figures from black history, James Brown and Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. In 2014, he was famously cast as Black Panther for Marvel, two years before he was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. It was both shocking and moving, by the way, to learn that he was dealing with chemotherapy and surgeries, all while continuing to work and deliver amazing performances the last few years of his life. After debuting in Civil War, Black Panther's solo film not only went on to become the highest grossing blockbuster with a black lead and a cast of color of all time, but it's also the 13th highest grossing film of all time, period. Uh, his Saturday Night Live episode oh, with, was an instant classic with several Black Panther sketches, including the hilarious Black Jeopardy sketch, one of my personal favorites. Hilarious. And the way he delivered the lines, it's just and keeping within the spirit, I mean, it, that could easily have been a mean sketch, but it kept with, with, the, with the love of T'Challa and, and Bozeman's performance of Black Panther, which we'll discuss a little bit more in just a moment. And that's one of, the most one of the most watched SNL sketches of all time on YouTube with 22 million views. In fact, right after you check out this video, you should go over and re-watch it. Uh, Black Panther went on to become the first superhero film ever to be nominated for Best Picture. It received seven nominations overall, winning three on a night that I'm sure all of us still remember. That, it was very, very moving to see those acceptance speeches. As I said in my coverage at the time, Black Panther was as iconic a film and the successor in many ways to Roots. But this time, moved the conversation away from slavery and focused on power and a bright future, creating a city on a hill for the black community, Wakanda. And even though it's a fictional city, it has become as meaningful 
I would say it has even been made real. Uh, definitely, I think it's it definitely, I mean, Wakanda forever trended upon news of Chadwick Boseman's death. Uh, but even beyond the black community, Black Panther resonated, uh, ha has resonated, and I'm sure will continue to resonate with the entire world, just as Bozeman's death did. And I say the entire world because you don't get that kind of box office if you don't have the support of just people, again, the world over. And that was in large part due to Bozeman's performance. He represented, of course, the people, but also fighting for what's What's, what's right for everyone, for the greater good. Love wins over hate. Bozeman radiated nobility in that role, just as he radiated nobility in real life. Uh, Simu Liu, who himself recently joined the MCU, tweeted on Friday night that if not for Chadwick Bozeman and Black Panther, Marvel's Shang-Chi and its representation of the Asian community would not exist. Uh, in fact, Bozeman has paved the way for many actors of color, proving actors of color can open movies, including the biggest Hollywood blockbusters. Uh, again, looking through all these amazing articles and, uh, and memories of Chadwick Boseman in preparing for this video, I came across a wonderful article about how he stood up for a, 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 one, an early role in his career for the fact that he felt the role was stereotypical. And it got him fired, but it did change the role for who, the actor who took it after him. It's an incredible article, and it brought to mind Rami Malek, who also made that same decision early on in his career not to perpetuate stereotypes that are harmful to harmful to the community that they represent. And I, I, think, I thought it was incredible when I heard Rami Malek do it, and I think it's fantastic that Chadwick Boseman did the same thing. And I would recommend that you read that article. I've put a link to it down below, because it not only shows the stereotypes that Hollywood continues to, to try and perpetuate if people like this don't stand up and fight for it, like Boseman and Malek, but also the questions that Boseman asked the producers about his character are so, so strong and so good and show not only where he was coming from from an activist standpoint, but as an actor trying to build his character and they give you a window into his process. And I think that's really interesting. I think it's easy to think of him just as, a, as this guy who played a, a big superhero. But I think when you read that article, it reminds you that he was, he was an actor, a true actor. And I, I think if you've seen his other movies, you realize that, but this is a great reminder. While promoting 21 Bridges earlier this year, the change in his appearance was dramatic, but it was soon attributed to perhaps weight loss for an acting role. And even before that, something else that I realized over the weekend preparing this video, remember the jokes that everybody was making about Bozeman, who seemed to lose enthusiasm for doing the Wakanda Forever salute, you know, first day on the job, couple months later, but now? we realize he was tired for a very different reason. That just goes to show that you never know what's going on with someone personally and always try to keep that in mind. Then tragically, on Friday night, the world learned the truth when Chadwick Boseman passed away from colon cancer at 43. On Jackie Robinson Day and on Jack Kirby's birthday, the co-creator of Black Panther. And even in death, Chadwick Boseman might do even more still for the black community. African Americans are the most affected by colon cancer, with a higher mortality rate than any other ethnicity. Not only is colon cancer deadlier for African Americans, and doctors still don't know why that is, but it turns out that African American men in particular are reluctant to get colonoscopies, which could catch the cancer at earlier stages. So with Chadwick Boseman's tragic passing, perhaps he could inspire more African American men and just younger people in general to take colonoscopy seriously and understand that this is a threat to younger people and to consult with their doctors. Uh, back to Bozeman's career, I do feel that an Oscar is coming his way. His two final films were for Netflix, Spike Lee's To Five Bloods, which I so far has, have felt has been the best film of the year, and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which was supposed to have its virtual premiere tonight, but out of respect for Bozeman, that has been canceled. Netflix will surely run aggressive Oscar campaigns for both films, especially for Bozeman, who I think will definitely be nominated for Best Supporting Actor and most likely win posthumously, similar to Heath Ledger's win for The Joker in the same category. I haven't seen Ma Rainey yet, but I do think that The Five Bloods would be the perfect role for which the Academy could honor Bozeman. He plays a ghost who both haunts and inspires his fellow soldiers. What a performance in an incredible film. Uh, again, Bozeman was admired by many, and in these dark times, as Jordan Peele tweeted, a loss that is a crushing blow. If you need to talk to someone, I, you know, I asked you guys what you would like to see 
uh, included in a video honoring Chadwick Boseman. And I was very moved that several of you pointed out that people might be dealing with very dark thoughts as a result right now. And therefore, you should be urged to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline if you need to talk to someone. You can also look up uh, local counseling hotlines. Uh, I couldn't find a national one uh, if you want to, to talk to someone as well. Uh, please share your own thoughts and memories of Chadwick Boseman down below. And if you can, donate uh, to St. Jude Children's Hospital in his memory. Thank you.